digital planning is the future. It's a great way to have everything that you need in one spot. And as long as you have your phone or your iPad on you, you know exactly what you're gonna be doing on that day, for that week, for that month. You can plan out your goals for the year, for the quarter, for the decade, whatever you want. I use Notability and I create templates in an app called Sketch so that I can have everything ready for whenever I need it. It allows for ultimate flexibility and that I can pull in any of the templates that I've created. I recently created a weekly planner so that I can see everything in a glance because I found that using daily planners back to back ended up being a lot of scrolling. All of these templates are available for purchase on my website. Make sure to check out the description below and I hope you enjoyed the tour. First, you'll see I have in my Notability, I have a lot of stuff going on here, but I have everything in Q3 of 2021. And if I go to my most recent page, so this is my week at a glance. I have a section for habits that I wanna keep track of. From there, on the right, I have a small section for overall goals. These are things that I wanna make sure to get done that week, but I don't necessarily have a specific day plan for when I will tackle it. Each day has a small block, a very small block, for things that you want to accomplish that day. And I did that on purpose because otherwise I would schedule like 10 to 15 tasks that I wanted to do and would just then forward them from one day to another, just keep pushing them back and back and it didn't work out. Um, from there, I will have my entire calendar for the day mapped out so that I can see everything in one place. I will say that my calendar app still remains my one source of truth for everything because yes, meetings will shift and move around. So I still have notifications pop up on my calendar, but uh, this is a good place to start planning out bigger chunks of time when I might be able to get some of my personal work done. So what I do here in Notability is that I will choose the next layout that I want to use. So this just happens to be the same layout that I used last week. So I'll hit these three little dots and hit copy background and then hit the three dots again and hit paste and you'll see it pulls in the next week. In here, I'll switch over to my boring dark blue color and let's see, this is the week of. All right, so I'll fill in the week and then I'll go through the habits the last week and see what happened. So. I'm actually going to pull over the same habits that I want to accomplish. So let's see. From here, I will look at the goals that I wanted to accomplish last week and I did both. So that's awesome. That means I get to pull in new overall goals. And then I will also go through the previous week's assignments and make sure that nothing fell through the cracks. So I did all these, which is awesome. I just forgot to check it off. And actually I realized that these were incorrect. So I'm just gonna move these over. I have this. Today is ship 30, day three. So I already did that, which is great. Once I have any tasks that are top of mind or from the previous week, on my planner, I will go into my Todoist so that I can pull in tasks that need to get done that I wouldn't otherwise remember. On the iPad, I love the multitasking feature, the side-by-side -side really helps, so I will just pull open Todoist and plop it over here on the left. Once I have everything in for the present day, I will head over in Todoist to my upcoming calendar, which will show me the next seven days. So then I can just scroll through and see anything that needs to be pulled into my digital planner. From here, I'm gonna close that Todoist and then open up my calendar and then bring in the events that I wanna make sure to have on the planner. Overall, it seems like a pretty light week in terms of meetings, which is really exciting. So I am going to go in now and schedule in some fun time. You'll notice some colors are blue, which is my general color for appointments and things that I really can't miss or move around. Gray is just some like for your information type of things. And then pink is, are things that I really want to make sure to do and keep on my radar, which, but it's not like appointment driven, it's more just personally driven. So 
there we have it. This is my weekly plan. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Notability makes it super easy to do digital planning because you can move things around, copy things, paste things, and adjust as you go. Remember that this layout as well as a few other layouts are available in my digital planner shop, so make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Recording here. Boom, boom. Okay, so.